Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Victory 2 as the Ottoman Empire in our Ottoman Empire campaign. <clears throat> Last, where we left off, we are at peace, and we are trying to catch up on some technology. We're actually, literacy is increasing quite quickly, so I'm hoping we can actually catch up on some tech um, pretty soon. We're going to let our, um, our economy is actually doing pretty well. We can afford to decrease tariffs. We decrease tariffs to zero, actually. Researching analytic philosophy for some research points plus 100%. And uh, then we will probably get revolution, counter revolution, possibly. Uh, let's see, tool C is being assimilated. We might actually also get social science for the, for the literacy increase. We'll see how that goes. Um, I do want to go for some um, industrial tax. We're also going to reorganize our armies a little bit. Let's see, are we producing any troops? Yes, yeah, so we're producing, I think, an army here in Constantinople. And um, let's see, apparently we are allied to... I don't know why, but for some reason we're allied to Russia. I don't know how that happened. I don't recall that happening. When did that occur? I have no idea. Does it mean we can influence? We'll lock in now? Quite possibly. I think it does mean that. I'm not sure entirely. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really know. So we have, we, I guess we have an entente going on between me, Russia, and, and Germany. Um, the Kingdom of France has went absolutist, and he doesn't like me very much, so we have to compete with that. But as long as we don't get into any wars, if we have Russia and Germany on our side, I think we're just fine, to be honest. I think we'll, we'll do pretty well for ourselves. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see, you need, you already have cavalry, you need some artillery. See, so we have a little bit of unrest in the Empire, but it's actually kind of clearing itself up over time. Um, I'm not doing too bad. Let's see, where is, where is this guy supposed to be? So we need more infantry. We need some infantry for Cairo. Am I training up any other troops? I'm kind of trying to find out. Where was I where Was I training up men? Okay, so this army is too large. One, two, three. I'm supposed to have five infantry. Okay, so maybe you go there? No? So maybe we're building up another stack? So this is, yeah, 5, 1, and 3. So this would be... Let's take a look here. So Europe... I think I need 3 more... 3 more plus some more Arty. I think that's what's going on there. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll clear that up in a second. Let's see here. Um... So, possibly, eventually, we will do... Where is it? Organize Lebanon. Let's see, organize Lebanon. Why would I want to do that? Owns Beirut. Have... Yeah, so Lebanon changes to developing academia. We get some prestige from that. Lebanon change religion is Sunni. Okay. We do want to get this for sure. So, we need a constitution and monarchy. Revolution, kind of revolution. Citizenship policy is not residency. Um, ending with lucky and self-rule... I don't know. We don't have to do that necessarily. It pisses off the Russians, but it's it's not the worst idea in the world. Looks like we're actually going to be able to take Wallachia out of the Russian sphere. That's going to piss them off quite a bit. But uh, let's keep improving relations. I don't know. I mean, I don't really necessarily need the alliance with the Russians now that we have the German alliance. I mean, I, I don't, you know, not really. It's not like a huge thing. I'm not complaining though. You know. I'm not going to complain at all about it. Okay, so we're making some serious money now. Um, let's go ahead and boost. My boost this military spending to 75%. I do kind of want to decrease taxes on the rich. Quite possibly the middle class. Okay, so Wallachia is accusing us of things. So we were discredited. I think we will be able to pull him from his sphere, though. So unfortunately, the Russians are going to be mad at that. Yeah, so we can we can improve relations with him though. I mean, he's still we got an ironclad in Smyrna. That's pretty nice. Okay, I like it. Where's our navy? There's this little guy. We should get rid of these boats. I mean, I can't build because they don't have the uh, naval technology, so I can't actually build any steamer convoys and that sort of thing. Let me see. So people are emigrating, but we should be having a lot more soldiers come in. 
Right now, mostly our population is farmers, laborers. Um, as we advance in industrial techs, more laborers will come around because the RGOs will be bigger. Um, artisans are, are doing pretty well as well, just because we've had a lot of terrorists for a long time. Um, let's see. Let's keep trying again for the expeditions here. Farmers and craftsmen. Okay, we're going to keep uh, trying to increase our industrial power. Now, um, there is an argument to be made that we should encourage craftsmen in our most populous states. There is that argument to be made. So, for example, in Thrace, we should maybe have craftsmen. Um, the Ottoman Peloponnese, apparently. Because we, I mean, our literacy is increasing quite quickly. We don't necessarily need any more um, intellectuals. We're doing just fine, actually. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's, let's encourage some craftsmen just to get our industrial score up. You never know what could happen. And because we're not taxing the rich anymore, um, well, well, we have it at 50%. We probably could lower it to... I don't know. I like I liked to tax the rich, and I like to make the, the middle class be better off. But considering that we just kind of increased soldier pay, I think we're actually going to probably just kind of leave it alone. Because right now, the capitalists, you can see, they don't they save some, and then they put stuff actually back into the economy. So the National Bank will ne won't necessarily grow that large. Commission a warship. Let's, yeah, let's get another warship here. So if we switch to the reactionaries real fast. You know, those um those pa those spe um socialists actually aren't bad. Let me see. 29, okay, 30%. If we switch to Let me see, are we subsidizing anybody? We are a little bit. Just that clipper shipyard in Thrace. Um, we don't really need it. It's not very useful. It's going to lose us money. You know, actually, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. We'll, we'll destroy that. We actually have quite a few factories, I have to admit. Besides that, actually, a lot of our factories are kind of doing okay. It's kind of interesting. We're actually relatively profitable. Huh. I have to admit, that kind of surprised me a little bit, but all right, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Okay, so we have less soldiers coming in. We've got plenty of troops around the place, though. We don't really have too many separatists. We have we have factions that want separatism, but um, our people are actually relatively happy. Yeah, so if we if we convert to jingoism, let's try and get Russians. Let's try and get the Russians and the relations with the Germans up. I actually, I probably will annex. Um, I probably will annex Wallachia just just for the sake of being historical. Let's see, all we need to do is get the Russians to two hundred relations. Yeah, and Wallachian self rule. He's allied to the Russians. Egyptian tomb discovered. Damn, we got another Egyptian tomb. Sweet. We're making quite a bit of money from the um, textiles, from the cement factories. We could start fortifying a lot of these, a lot of these positions here in our country. We don't actually, we haven't fortified all that much, um, and that'll that'll give us. That's pretty much government investment into the, into the economy, because um, that that buys pretty much all of our iron and steel and and lumber and that sort of thing. So, sends those goods out to constructions, which is really cool. We also don't really need... I mean, I don't want to necessarily get rid of our fleet, but we really don't need it. Could be better off with something else. Let's see. So we're buying up the stockpile right now, I think, of machine parts. What is our stockpile, anyway? Yeah, so we have a stock of machine parts. We should also buy... Well, everything else can be automated. Um, let's see. Do we need any other, like, significant goods? I don't know. Buying maybe canned food would not be a bad idea. Hmm. 
No, I'll, I'll let, I'll let, yeah, I'll, I'll let everything else kind of do its thing. Okay, and then so far this is our sphere of influence, so we've we've quite a bit of a sphere. Um, let's see, indirect rule. We, wow, we actually get a lot of prestige from that. Wow, it's impressive. And then we're upgrading some factories here that are nearing capacity. Yeah, so just industrial production is just going through the roof. Um, Netherlands, Belgium. So the UK is obviously the most industrialized. France is doing pretty good, so is Germany. Belgium and the Netherlands, not so much. The Netherlands has been more colonial, from what I've noticed. The Dutch East Indies. The Dutch are colonizing some stuff out here. I, I wanted to do a Dutch Empire campaign one of these days. I should. 1872, so this analytic philosophy will be done. Then we'll go for revolution, counter-revolution, see what happens there. Um, minimum life rating that should allow us to colonize Africa. Yeah, because our life rating is going to go down. When is this done? 1874? Damn, okay, so about two years here. We'll get some unrest in the colonies. Yes, we have a lot of capitalists now. We've really increased we've really increased the number of capitalists that we have. Let's keep let's get relations with the Russians up to one or two hundred, so then when we annex Wallachia, we're not really gonna piss too many people off. Um we should have friendly relations with the British as well. Through great power from improved technology. What is the tech that gets me more diplomatic points? That's what I need to find out. I don't remember. I think it's in commerce somewhere. Because these are demand of points. It's not influence. I don't know. Um, Let's make sure, yeah, so you don't have the same opinion. Still have that alliance here. So the Germans are maxed out. We have maxed our relations with the Germans. France does not like us too much. Stockpile changed by 30 cement. No, I'll do the militancy, sure, why not? Colonial discontent. Yeah. There's Italy. Okay, so now we no longer have any tariffs. Mill in Bosnia. I'm actually going to swap over now instead of craftsmen. Let me see. Let me take a look at my colonies here. So Cairo, Alexandria, Sudan, Aleppo, Baghdad. Let's see, Basra. There's actually a few Turks there. Okay, let's try that. Let me see. Oh, okay. It's a lot of Egyptian nationalists. We'll be killing a lot of people here. You guys arrive 13th of July. So everybody gets here at the same time. We have, they have no artillery. We have a lot of artillery, a lot of cavalry, a lot of infantry. See, there's the artillery right there. We just wrecked those guys in the center. Absolute destruction. We killed 63,000 people right there. Wow. Yeah, we killed a lot of Egyptians, but um, it must be done. Must be done. Unfortunately, must be done. Okay, so we made good money. We're still great power. Industrial capacity is increasing. 
Now, Prestige, we're third in the world. Military, we're sixth in the world. Let's see. Italy, what's going on here? French Liberation, Italian Savoy. Okay, so you want access to the French. I'm going to wreck the Italians, pretty much. We have cholera. We're going to quarantine the province. Let's see the Shilluk Kingdom. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see. Who's influencing Abyssinia? So, yeah. So, uh, Abyssinia is in the Italian sphere. Um, I don't really care about that, necessarily. Let's try and get, we're trying to get this militancy down. Let's see. al Zubair's trading empire. The lack of formal authority in South Sudan, which was claimed by Egypt, was filled in the 1850s by a powerful set of merchant princes. Sudan so will gain uh, Boris core. Oh, sweet. Well, that's nice. Thank you for expanding me, I guess. See, we're, so after we get more life rating, we're actually going to be able to colonize a lot here. We do need breech loaded rifles um, for colonial negotiations, but we already got prophylaxis against malaria and mission to civilize. So, not too shabby. Tensions in Ottoman Peloponnese. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see. These guys are in Africa, Near East. Okay, so we're going to train one more army for the. Training up one more army for the. Um, well, the rally, the rally point is Constantinople, but. Okay, so the, are the French going to win this? Uh, the French should win, but right now they're not. No, I guess they are. Belgium, Uruguay. Ooh, Russia's involved in that. Okay. Let's see, relations with the Germans. Valid Cassus Belli. Oh, okay, so we have a Cassus Belli. Okay, I get that, I get that. Well, we do not have a CB. So Russia's allied with France. Okay. Okay, I should be able to annex. We're going to piss off the Russians a little bit, but I should be able to annex Wallachia now. Let's take a look at it. End Wallachian self rule. Nobody should be able to come to their aid because. He's not in anybody's sphere. He's cordial with the with the Russians. He's hostile with pretty much everybody else. And we'll lock in self rule. Looks like they refused, so we have to go and kill him. It's actually got a pretty decent military tech. Oh motherfucker! Russia joined in. Son of a bitch! How's that possible, dude? He's in my sphere. You fucking asshole, Russia. I mean, dude, he's even my ally. Can I call Germany in on this? Actually, yeah, he'll accept. Fuck it, Germany, come on in, dude. Let's have some war. Shit, all for Wallachia. Come on, you bastard. You guys suck. But, uh, hey, we gotta do it. Gotta do it. This is a world war of sorts. Send these are up here. I don't really want to mobilize. It wouldn't be worth it necessarily. It would it would totally wreck our alliance or totally wreck our economy. So the Germans will push in from the from the. Stack wipe those Wallachians there.
Damn it, I didn't want to go to war with the Russians, dude. That was not what I wanted to do. But, I mean... The thing is, is if we don't do this, we do lose quite a bit of prestige. So, which we don't want to have happen. We don't, we, we don't want to do that. So, I'm, I'm willing to I'll let this go. Does it split evenly? It does, right? Okay. So, let me see. So, he's got way better military tech than I do. We really could use more troops, probably. The Germans should make short work of the Russians, though. Least puppet, place in the sun. So apparently Crimea is... Well, it's a Russian core, but it technically qualifies as a colonial province. We don't want to take any Russian cores. If it was if it was just like a... Um, yeah, if it was just like a, a colony of some kind, I'd actually probably be willing to take it. Let's see, where's he going up here? That's, uh, what is that? 3,000 cavalry, 15,000. He's got a lot of uh, artillery in that stack. Unfortunately. Yes, yeah, so the Germans are way, way... Well, they're not actually... They're a little bit ahead of the... Um, they're a little bit ahead of the Russians in technology. He's going for cars. Okay, so we hang out in... Trebizend to Zerum. And Vaughn. You know, I'll send you to Bitless. I don't think I have much of a choice here. Stack wipe. Damn it. Come on, you bastards. Son of a bitch. We're going to take some war exhaustion here. The Russians are going to get their asses handed to them, though. Um, let me take a look here. So I, I so what would I, what would I want to do here? I'm not going to lie. Humiliate might come in handy. He loses 50 prestige over that. I like war reps, too. That would give me a lot of money. I would take a place in the sun for, say, the Crimea or something, but it's a Russian core. So it really would not be the smartest thing to do. Um, Historically, we really should probably have it, though. Damn, check that shit out. Wow, he attacked my stack here and he got fucking wrecked. We killed like 42,000 Russian troops. Holy Jesus. I was not expecting it to be just so decisive. So these, these are not cores. This territory, so Kazakhstan and everything is not cores. All we need is 85 war score for this. Doesn't seem too hard to achieve. Dude, the Germans are wrecking this guy. Wrecking this guy. Ah, oh, shit. Got just a couple garrisons around the colonies. Let's go after that dude real fast. Take attrition. Um, let's see, Bessarabia is still Romanian. That's true. Could take it's a Russian core, though. That's the thing. So he'd be able to declare for it whenever he wants. Hmm. Which is kind of annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't see that battle. Shit. We got decisively defeated there. Guess we were attacked in this position. Okay, so no more no more offensives in the uh, in the in the Caucasus. We yeah, we have to hold off there cuz we kind of lost some manpower there.
Jesus, though. Look at that. 50 plus war score from battles. We destroyed this guy. Germany's hella strong. I was not imagining he was so powerful. So the, the Russians outnumber us. He actually apparently just switched to being a great power. Russian Empire. Are we entrenched? We are. Plus, um, we have defensive terrain. Let's see, 0.8% attrition. Eh, I don't want to take attrition there, but... Well, I'll, I'll split it. It should split fairly evenly. Yeah, 404. Who's this general here? This guy, he's got attack, defense. Nice. Actually, not bad. Pretty good stats. I'll take it. Okay, so we got another national focus. Hmm. Um, let's keep focusing on clergymen, I suppose. Can't hurt. Messinian excavations. Let's do it. Let's see. Could go for social science. I'm actually going to go for some of these industrial techs. It should put more people to work, raise wages, that sort of thing. He's going to revel on the 17th. So what does he have? Is this, a, is this just inventory? Is he, no, he's actually got a pretty decent stack. It's just... There's not enough men. Okay, I'm going to leave a 33,000 to defend there. Uh, yeah, we want consciousness to go down. See, I'm wondering if he'll attack me. I think the Germans. He's very numerous, I have to admit. Uh, I'm actually not going to take that fight. Let's see. How are the Germans doing? Um, I think the Germans are now being overrun. There's too many Russians. From what I can see here. Damn, that was a pretty good battle. Okay, so we've annexed Wallachia. From local government, we can organize Lebanon. I don't know what this does. I mean... Did we release Lebanon or something? No, that's what I thought. The decision, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that it does. Okay, so yeah, we're at peace now. Okay, so we won. Won the war. Okay. Say, game over. Okay. So we won that conflict there. I gotta admit, we did pretty good. I was kind of surprised. Yeah, the Germans are, are definitely quite strong. Um, let's get those relations back up with him. Let's see... These are all satellites. Okay, so we beat the Russians. Yep. Yeah.
Ideally, you want 4% intellectuals if you're really trying to catch up on literacy. Let's see, Dean. We have 3%. So we, we almost get 1.2 literacy a year. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Okay, so relatively stable. Let's see, we're losing a little bit of money. That's likely due to war exhaustion, though. It'll pick up in a little bit. Going to be subsidies as well? No, we're not actually. Our factories are actually all profitable for the most part. Which is good. Um, intervention is, is fine. That's that's totally cool. Let me see. So we need... I can get some artillery. Wants to be for this stack. No, you're fine. We have inventory. Oh, we definitely need some... Yeah, we need some artillery for that stack. Um, I'll send you up here. So, good relations with the UK. Okay, so what happens when we... What other... Organize Libya. So yeah, so political rights, residency, constitutional monarchy. We still get only Albania, Bosniak, Misri, and Mashriki as um, accepted cultures. How many of Samos? Okay. World Tomb has been found in Greece. That sounds cool. Okay, we're building railroads here. Whoa, we got French anarcho liberals. Um, Spain has taken pretty much all of Morocco. God, our empire is sexy as shit. I have to admit, we did better in that war than I was kind of expecting. You're pretty good. Yeah, so let's let's do these, and then we'll go for some army techs probably, because we're really catching up on mili um, we're catching up on techs now. So. For the next, like, you know, 60 years, we can really just kind of hammer out industrial and army techs. Maybe maybe naval techs, I don't know. We don't need so much of a navy right now. It's an easy way to get score, though, from having capital ships. It's a really, really easy way to get score. No, damn it, Persia. Okay, yep, we got know, Lockheed, Moldavia. Ottoman Empire, Fortify Tunis. Should fortify these areas here, minus one from desert. Okay, yeah, we should fortify this stuff along here. A couple of these states. Definitely the Suez and the like. Okay, so we, we now export grain, cotton, and wood. We import coal, liquor, and regular clothes, among other items. We have a population of 15.5 million. Southern Serbia apparently is still our largest state. Let's see, there's... Let's see, the crisis of Ostprusen. Okay. Let's see, the UK may support the Russians. Yeah, I'm likely to support the Germans, obviously, because they're my ally. Let's see what's up with the UK. 
So the oh, the Russians are allied to the UK. Hmm. Interest is the point of the German Confederation. Local considerations early in the crisis. Yeah, so. I'll back the Germans. Oh, this is in the crisis of liberation of Lithuania. The Germans have backed Lithuania. Okay. Shit, we may have to gear for another war here. Which is not what I wanted. Unfortunately. Although we do have troops ready. We do have troops at the ready for this. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. I should probably get some reinforcements over here. Um, I'm going to have to send this army probably east. I'll keep the Tunisians in Cairo. This, this Tunisian army, I'll keep them in Cairo. But uh, I don't think this is going to go well. I mean, the Russians are researching... The Russians are researching as we speak. They're researching army techs. We got some ironclads. Okay, white piece. White piece. Okay. Holy Jesus, the French Republic is going through a revolution. They're a bourgeois dictatorship right now, but they're getting militant socialists. French Republic is a great power. Our income just skyrocketed. Got anarchic bomb throwers, artisans and clerks. Let's see, the modest uprising in a troubled atmosphere of Sudan's modernization. Muhammad Ahmad ibn as Said Abd Allah, fakir and religious one, proclaimed himself the Mahdi. Okay. Move these troops back. What's going on over here? It's a revolt. Or there will be a revolt. Sudanese nationalists, unfortunately. Um, we can encourage soldiers now. I think we have enough intellectuals, we have enough bureaucrats, we have enough capitalists. I think some manpower probably wouldn't hurt us. Run the Suez Canal Company. Let's see, build the Panama Canal, commission a warship. Okay. Yeah, so we need to fortify this area. Fifth in the world is a great power. Once we get some more soldiers, we'll be looking even better. Got quite a few troops in this area, which is nice. And let's see, let's move this guy here. So we need... What are we producing? What are we producing now? Okay. You guys go there. 
Yeah, I can use some ironclads. Be pretty nice. So we're not taxing the rich at all right now. So that means that landowners and capitalists, we should be getting quite a few. So landowners, yeah, people are signing up to be landowners. People are signing up to be capitalists. They're going to do the majority of the investment, I think, from here on out. Let's see. So you have inventory. What do you need over here? Because actually, I could send you there. Yeah, I'll send you there. We got railroad max level. Let's do some army techs. Wow, we reached that super fast. So it's been exactly 40 years since we started the game. And so far, we've still stayed a great power. We've expanded ourselves quite a bit. There's a first international. So apparently now we have communism. Jesus Christ, look at this. Look at this. France, dude, you're going to be... It's coming to revolution here pretty soon. Jesus. I don't know if it, I don't know if it'll become like a proletarian dictatorship or like a Marxist dictatorship or something. I'm not sure. So there's a capitalist. So they're building our railroads now. Now there's enough capitalists. We don't really have to worry about it. There's even enough probably literacy to to honestly not have to worry about it. We definitely have quite a few intellectuals. Let's see. We have a fairly Still fairly conservative upper house. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take the hit on this one. The UK is coming after Bahrain. I can't fight him. I can't. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to decline. There's no way in hell I can beat the, um, beat the Brits. It's not going to happen. See, the Netherlands wants an alliance. It's not really in my best interest. That'd be nice, but... It's a liability. He could drag me into wars I don't want to be in. I don't mind my population becoming more liberal. Um, we actually have a fairly large socialist vote. Ideology. Yeah, so now the conservatives are really going on the... Algeria? Where the hell is Algeria? Oh, this is Algeria? Civilized nation is a republic? No, I'm okay. Thanks, though. Influence my guess. How many soldiers do we have? 350,000? So you send you guys to Cairo. Yeah, so, so mostly all the stacks are, are doing pretty good. Um, we're going to enforce Ottoman curricula for... Let's see. So that's a full stack. I mean, eventually, we actually do need more troops for this guy. Let's see. Consciousness? Yep, it's fine. It's not fine. I don't really have a choice, though. Um, We should maybe get inorganic chemistry. Yeah, you know what? I'll actually probably do that next. Um, Inorganic chemistry would be pretty nice. Let's see, this is the Aiden Protectorate. Mm, no, I'm actually going to withdraw. I'm going to withdraw from these positions. I don't really have a desire. I don't really need to have those guys in my sphere. It's not that big of a deal. So Aiden here belongs to the UK. The Aiden Protectorate is there. Moscato Mons protected by the British. I want to focus more towards Europe.
That's what I personally want to do. I want to be concerned with European affairs. I don't care so much about Arabian affairs. As long as we're not threatened, which we're not, the British aren't really that big of a deal. I'm totally cool. So we're number five in the world. We've got a pretty decent score ahead of the French, the Japanese, and the, and the Italians. It's not like amazing, but it'll do. Political reforms. I do want to push through some reforms eventually. So I'm not opposed to having liberals in the upper house. We do need to push through reforms. It's useful. Uh, the middle class is doing quite well. The poor, not so much though. we tax the rich, we can lower poor taxes a bit. I mean, to be honest, it really doesn't amount much, does it? <laughs> These guys are still occupied. I do not get it. Why are they still occupied? Let's take a quick look around the world. This is the Dominion of Canada. Civilized Nation Dominion. Dominion of the Brits. I've been thinking about doing like a Canadian campaign. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see. Here's the US. They're number three in the world. They're an amazing industrial score. There's the Empire of Mexico. It's actually still around, which is kind of crazy. Empire of Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina. Oh my God. Chile took a lot of stuff down here. What the hell? Where's Uruguay? And the Russians. Yep. They're still all the way over there. There's the Qing. There's the Kingdom of Josan, the Empire of Japan. Let's see. He's been pretty historical. Okay, and then we have really bought her back from the brink. We have regained what was lost. And now we modernize. Come on, Demon, build your railroads faster. Let's see. What else do we need? Okay. Actually, you know, we can use more intellectuals in these places. Let's do it. Those loaded rifles. So let us see increases really fast now. 1.2% per year. Actually, a little more than that. 1.2%. It's like, no, it's like one point. No, yeah, it's actually pretty fast. So now we can add engineers to our stacks. Engineers will help people dig in. You should probably have one engineer per stack. It's pretty nice. Helps people dig in, that sort of thing. What am I missing here? I need Artie, horse. No. Yeah, one horse, two Artie. One horse. We'll do some arty. I'll get one more inventory. Let me do one more inventory, one engineer. Okay, so we have a really well-funded bureaucracy. Really good educational system. Uh, we have a surplus of steel in the market, so it means that industrial subsidies are expensive, but that's fine. Um, military spending is doing just fine. Let's see, are we? do we have a lot of people who become officers? It's not too bad, yeah. Hopefully most of the pay actually goes towards soldiers. Let's see, what's our largest demographic? Holy shit! Our largest demographic in the entire empire is Misery, Sunni, Farmers, and Cairo, who are super pissed off. 350,000 of them. Wow, can you believe that? That's interesting. Yeah, another ironclad. That is pretty cool.
And then, um, let's see, Turkish, 22.1%. As far as our, our Turkish population, is it going up or going down? I don't know. What to say? Let's see mobilization size. We grow so fast. Wow, 14, 15,000 adult males a day. That is kind of crazy. I guess in the last 30 days. Okay. So we've got more Egyptian nationalists. Um, I'll send over... No, I, well, okay. Yeah, I'll send... Just, just for safekeeping, I'll send over one army. We should be fine, though. Okay, so this army is the first guy with an engineer. Siege efficiency... And recon. Okay. Let's see, commission a warship. We're going to keep getting these ironclads until I research my own naval plans. Uh, I'm going to keep buying ironclads, I think. It, it should improve our navy enough. Uh, there's a SARS. So we should swap out. We technically should swap out a SARS for cavalry. Recovery for SARS. Technically, is the way it's supposed to be done. It might be a little too much work to do that, but we'll see. These damn Egyptians, man, they never learn. It's a little annoying. You would think by now... I mean, we've had control of Egypt for about 40 years now. So you would think... That probably... Probably they wouldn't have any more unrest. You know. It's just me. What do I know? So we're making this area Turkish, which is pretty nice. Turkish. A lot of this is becoming Turkish. Bulgarian. Some Greek stuff here. There's Bosniaks. Serbs all around. Bosniaks, Bosniaks. Okay. We got machine parts factories coming online. Let's make sure we keep this border mostly heavily fortified. Don't want any surprises. Um, we should actually also fortify... Let me see. Okay, so Luck is actually very heavily fortified. Bosnia. So let's go. Let's get rid of some of these steel mills. Bosnia, Wallachia, Southern Macedonia. Let's get rid of some of these steel mills. We have a few too many. So that's that's fine. Bosnia. Market spendings. Do some insolvency. Let's get rid of that. And so those workers will move elsewhere. This one doesn't produce as much. Okay. No, damn it, we just destroyed that steel mill. Fuck you. Bosnia. Let's see, Wallachia. We can't build state, or can't build factories. Can't afford to buy all of its inputs. 
What I can do is I can fund these railroads, though. Let's do interventionism. We'll stick with interventionism for the most part. I don't see really a, a good, good reason to switch away from it. State capitalism is cool because I get to control factors myself, but it's a lot of work. I think we have enough literacy and enough capitalists to just let just let it kind of do its thing. Let's see, Ankara, yep, Moldavia. Okay, um, how many capitalists do we have? We have three thousand capitalists. We're not we're not even taxing them right now, so they should be investing in our economy, according to theory. And then with these industrial tax, we have a lot of inventions and stuff coming around, so that's nice. These are Greek reactionaries. Increase the opinion of the interesting. Uh, I'll go with pluralism. That sounds fine. Okay, so factories are coming online. Um, we expanding factories. We can expand some factories. Let's see, limited citizenship, full citizenship. Presidency. Okay, so we do have some socialist parties. Holy shit, that's not bad. Protectionism, state capitalism, pluralism, full citizenship, pro-military, full welfare state. That's not bad. Now, it would piss... Well, actually, no. A lot of the country is liberal and... Um, liberal and socialist. Having a socialist party in power wouldn't be so bad. Can I pick them? Pluralism, full citizen, pro military, full welfare state. That's pretty fucking good, actually. Let me see here. So the assimilation rate's gonna skyrocket. Let me take a look. Build the Suez. Where is it? Here. This. All out rights. So we need to have a constitutional monarchy. Crack down the communists. No, we don't want communists. Let's go for business banks. I don't want communists necessarily. Communist propaganda. Yeah, we're going to crack down on that. Thank you. Whoopsie, sorry about that. That was my dryer. Don't need more clergy in northern Macedonia. So how fast does Turkish grow every day? The workers have prevailed. Uh, let's see, as the left solidify the control of the government, they push a sweeping comprehensive reform over trade unions. State controlled trade unions. Okay. That's fine. Still unitary. Let's see, what's going on? Socialists want to see the enactment of further social reforms and may back political reforms under conditions of high militancy. Acceptable school system would be nice. Well, citizenship is pretty nice. Uh, we don't have any social spending because we haven't enabled any social policies. So we get all the benefits. We get all the benefits of socialism and none of the costs. <laughs> I'll take it. And we have state capitalism, so it means the capitalists are still allowed to help us. The only the only thing I don't like about plant economy is that there's no capitalists. It's it's it can be annoying to micromanage everything. I don't know what's up with France. They're just going to sit there, I guess. And we do have, because we have state capitalism, we have a minimum tax. So the capitalists are being taxed some. Effective tax is 9.5%. So. Wallachia, Bosnia, Thrace, and Bulgaria are our main industrial sectors. Let's see, Italy is at war. Time of the liberation of French Savoy. Really? Declared on them while they're having a revolution. That's just mean. That's just wrong, man. Uh, 
Uh, you know, we actually probably could use more soldiers. Especially considering the size of these provinces. Um, having more soldiers is probably not a bad idea. Let's see, we do have a lot of um, emigration. A lot of people are leaving our country. But we're, we're still experiencing really, really good growth. But a lot of people go to the United States. Yeah, and apparently Venezuela. And apparently Canada. Still haven't rest here in Egypt. It's unfortunate. Let's see, Serbia, your autonomous dependency. Why is he autonomous dependency? Because he's in my sphere? So these, these are classified as dominions. Hmm. I don't know. Let's take that adamant efficiency. Damn, our tax revenue just skyrocketed. There's a Vienna conference of 1880. Colonial powers of the world have gathered, gathered in, in Vienna to discuss the regulation and colonization of trade in Africa. Can I subsidize imports? I actually can. So subsidizing imports makes it easier for my factories and for my people to get their goods. So now you can see a lot of people are actually quite quite well off. And they'll in turn increase their consumption. Let's see, what's the price of machine parts? Top producers, Elven Empire. You know what we should do? We actually should probably build some ourselves. Well, Lucky is one of our main industrial states. I wouldn't mind having a machine parts factory there. We already got a steel mill. Uh, we don't necessarily have coal. Let's see, what else can we use here? Guns. Clothes. Let's see, we do need ammunition. Ammunition, we need... Sulfur and iron. That's not a bad idea. Fertilizer, we need for sulfur. Oh, sulfur goes to fertilizer. Cannery ammunition. Okay. Bulgaria could use a steel mill. I, I kind of want to be a little more hands off the economy. Liquor always sells. Still getting shit tons of Egyptian nationalists. Unfortunately. Okay, yeah, so the upper class doing pretty good. Middle class is doing pretty good. A lower class, yeah, they could be better off. Farmers and craftsmen, they could be doing better. We Im export grain, fruit, and wool. We import tea, liquor, and furniture. Although... King of the Fur and the King of Slaves of South Sudan. Let's see, some guy's trying to break away, huh? There's Italian Abyssinia. Organized Sudan. Let's see, Montenegro is this little guy. He's protected by the Russians. Also by the Italians, apparently. Okay. Let's see, what's our relations right now? So the UK likes us quite a bit. 
see. Let's get these Russians. Maybe maybe lukewarm. You know, they don't have to be that friendly to us, but lukewarm, probably not a bad idea. For the Russians. Precious goods. Precious metals. So our, our uh, rank is decreasing. We're number five, now we're number six. We may want to improve our industrial capacity just to, to combat that. We're subsidizing imports right now, so our factory should be selling pretty good. Quite profitable. At, at the expense of the government. I mean, that's true. I'll do 15. 15. Let's see. We have max soldiers here in southern Serbia. Okay, so we're doing okay. Not doing too bad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can conquer Montenegro or something. Uh, we need Fumanology and Hermeneutics for those research points. So we'll go for that. We just unlocked it this year, so we'll go for that real quick, real fast. And then we'll just keep working on commercial techs, army techs, industry techs, and culture. Um, Navy, we might have to let go. But we've done pretty well for ourselves so far. So I'm going to take a break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel Patreon. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.